Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making here today is a ginger sponge pudding. And this is an old fashioned recipe and it's a steamed pudding. And during the show, I'm going to tell you how to make this pudding as well in the microwave. And I'm going to be pairing it with a ginger custard sauce. So if that interests you, stick around and let's get started. So what we're going to do first is add a quarter of cup of molasses. You can go regular uh, table molasses or your dark cooking molasses. It doesn't matter. Put that into a measuring cup or a bowl. And then add in a quarter of cup of milk. Now I'm going to nook this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And if you don't want to do it in the microwave, you can warm it on the stove top. So after you've warmed the milk and molasses, just stir it together till it's all combined. And then set it to the side because we're gonna need for this to come to room temperature. And that's all we need to do with that. So next we're going to add in our dry ingredients, which is one cup of all-purpose flour, and you could use flour of choice. We're going to have two teaspoonfuls of ground ginger. You could use fresh if you got it. One teaspoonful of baking powder. I'm also going to share the recipe at the bottom of the screen. Two tablespoonfuls of brown sugar. All you need to do now is toss those, uh, all of those dry ingredients together until it's all evenly combined. And oh, and then what you can do is get yourself a boiler, medium-sized boiler. Put about three to four cups of water in there. Start that warming on a stove top on a medium heat. And then when we make our pudding, and we're, I'm going to be making this one steaming it in um, a pudding tin um, and then I'll show you then how to put that in the baller and cover it and get ready to cook and then what we're going to do here next is add in two or, or a quarter of a cup of butter or two tablespoonfuls and add it right into the dry ingredients um, so like I was saying you can add in a couple of tablespoonfuls of butter or margarine or quarter of a cup or even a little bit more if you want to it's entirely up to you you're just going to pinch this through into your pudding now years ago here in newfoundland and larvador puddings was almost at every every table at every meal time because it was more of a filler for a big family and you could have it as a dessert have it as a part of the meal it doesn't matter but then after you've combined your butter, that's all you need to do with that. I'm gonna break one large egg, pop into a little bowl, put this one to the side, and just toss that together. Now my mom, I might have told you on other videos, she can have pudding with a meal, gravy put over it, she don't care what type of pudding. And she wants a piece to the side with a nice sauce caramel sauce or ginger sauce it doesn't matter but today we're going to make a delicious ginger custard sauce which you are going to love so what we're going to do now we're going to do a combined alter alternating the molasses and milk putting the egg in and mixing that through so let's get going on that so we're going to toss the beaten egg on into the mixture and then we're going to slowly mix in that room temperature molasses and milk until it's all combined and just mix it on in there it smells amazing if you like ginger and you want more ginger because i can just have this like lots of ginger but if you like ginger you can add more and of course certainly you can do uh, the fresh ginger into this mixture as well or the ground and that's all you need to do there delicious 
So what you're going to do is, if you've got a pudding tin, um, lightly grease it with some butter or oil, and then take all of this mixture and toss into that tin. And then I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do next. So just smooth out the pudding batter into the bottom of your pan. I'm gonna grab for a knife there now or get Raymond to get one for me mm -hmm. and clean off this spatula and then I'm gonna show you what's next. Thank you, Raymond. Oh, you're welcome. It's always nice to have extra set of <laughs> set of hands in the kitchen, of course. So back. Yeah. back, just relaxing. Um, I got a lid for my pudding tin. Um, I'll share with you as well a link to pudding tins if uh, if you don't have access to it, or if you got a special bowl that you does your puddings in that will work as well. So what I'm going to do now is I got about three or four cups of water into this boiler. I'm gonna be putting this grate in the bottom so as my pudding tin don't be touching the bottom and then add the pudding tin as well. So I'm just gonna let it drop down, that was nasty. And then put the uh, pudding tin inside there and then what I'm going to do is cover that as well. And I'll tell you what you would need to do next. So what you need to do is put your boiler on um, your stove top with a medium heat and let that boil for one hour steaming in this pot. You can check to see if the water is getting low, add some more water. But uh, when that hour is up, you take your, your pudding tin out. I'll show you what that'll look like. If you need to go a few more minutes, that's fine. You can do that. So what I'm going to do next is show you how to make that delicious ginger custard sauce. So now let's get started on making our delicious ginger custard sauce. I'm going to be adding in a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoonfuls of flour, three tablespoonfuls of cornstarch, I'll get the rest now in a second, and two teaspoonfuls of fresh or ground ginger and just mix that together. Now we're going to be tossing in there one cup of boiling water and we're going to mix all of these dry ingredients in there evenly until it's all combined. I need the egg yolks of two eggs so I'm just going to take off the white, toss it in there and put it over onto the side and I need two so we'll do that again. If you've got another way of cracking your egg and removing the yolk, you can do that. But that's all we need to do there, so I need those two yolks. So now back to the ginger mixture. So as you can see, it's starting to get nice and thick there now. And what I need to do, I need to take about a quarter of a cup of this mixture off and add in with my egg yolks. So to do that, I'm going to mix those egg yolks together like this and then I'm going to take a scoop of this hot mixture, pour in, I'm going to do two to make sure that is about a quarter of a cup. And I'm going to mix this together so I don't want that egg to start cooking there like that and pour it into this delicious ginger mixture. And keep stirring until it's all combined to make a custard. So after when that's added, you're going to turn the heat off, put it to the side, and we're going to wait for our pudding. We'll rewarm it after if we need to. And before I go over to the counter, I'm going to add in two teaspoonfuls of butter. Mix that in, and if it's getting a little steamy here, it's because our pudding is steaming and the camera is getting all steamed up. And that's all you need to do there. Delicious. Okay, so back to the counter. What I did um, after I made uh, the ginger uh, custard sauce, I put together another uh, ginger pudding, ginger sponge pudding, and this one I'm going to do in the microwave. 
So you mix it the same way you did for steaming, putting it in your tin and putting it in the water, which that is almost uh, steamed over there now and we'll take that off and show you. So I'm gonna be putting this one into the microwave. I'm gonna cover it with a microwave lid or a plate, whatever is uh, microwave safe, and put the timer on for five minutes. And then when it's well steamed in the microwave, I'm gonna take it out and show you that. I'm gonna pull out the pudding tin and show you the one that's steamed. I'm excited. This is a delicious pudding and I can't wait for you guys to make it. So now we've got both puddings made. Um, this is the microwavable one. I'll pass this to Raymond. Thank you. And I'm going to uh, take this one out of the bowl. And before you put the pudding mixture in the bowl, make sure you've got a little bit of butter there to, uh, to be around it. So I'm going to toss this one out into this plate. My bowl is a little hot, so I'm trying to get an off here now as you can see. So that's the steamed one in the microwave. Now we're going to be putting the steam one that we did in the boiler. Now after I took this one out of the boiler, I let it rest a little tiny bit. I'm just going to put it here um, and let it just rest a little bit so as I can take it out of the tin. And again, that's what it looks like there. So you're just going to pour your sauce into the bowl because you want for everyone to be able to scoop up what they want. I'm going to take the rest of that now in a second. And this is it. Our steamed pudding in the boiler, our steamed pudding in the microwave and our delicious ginger custard uh, sauce. Too good to eat. Just a little great of that fresh ginger. Delish. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut two pieces. I'm going to cut a piece from the microwave style ginger sponge pudding. And that's that one. And I'm going to cut one piece from the steamed in the boiler pudding. Both of them is equally as rich. Difference in color, but the same um, mixture as we did. And this is it. Now I'm going to take up a piece and have a little taste. So I got a little piece taken up here. Now I'm going to put some of that delicious ginger custard and a little small dollop of the thick cream. This is what we use here in Newfoundland and Labrador, but necessarily you could use whatever you've got available. And now I'm going to have a little taste. I got some of that delicious ginger custard sauce and a piece of the pudding. Oh my goodness. So delicious. It's almost like I'm having a ginger snap. And those cookies and, and the taste of even the extra fresh ginger that's put over the top of the ginger sauce. So delicious. Two thumbs up, you guys. I'm so excited to finish that piece. And I know Raymond is back there just, mm -hmm. just waiting. And I know he's, he's patient. And I will. I've just got the plate here. And he's I'm waiting. And I'll, I'll share one or the other. They're both equally as delicious. Now, I, I just had a taste of the steamed one. But I've made the microwave style one lots. So if you want to make this recipe today and you got ginger in your home, don't forget the recipe is posted in under this video. Just click the arrow down, it will open. If you can't find it there, go to our website www.bonitaskitchen.com and you can print the recipe off there. I'm also going to share this link to our Facebook page and you can share it with your family and friends if you wish. Also send us a message on bonitakitchen at gmail.com if it's something a little more urgent that you would like for me to answer. Don't forget to include what the reasons are for emailing it and what you would like. I won't take any more of your time. We know it's precious and we thank you for spending a little bit of it with us today. From our kitchen to yours, on behalf of myself, Raymond, and our team here at Bonita's Kitchen, 
you join will us by the sea. And don't forget to join us again on Bandita's Kitchen. Bandita's Kitchen to yours. Bandita's Kitchen.